The deployment to Mozambique for the cyclone Edai, we landed within a week of the disaster. So you're quickly trying to figure out what to do on the ground. There's UN individuals, there's 15, 20 other uh, organizations that are there, NGOs doing the same work. We, uh, we spent our day trying to find things out and we ended up talking to somebody from Médecins Sans Frontières. They told us that they had been to a hospital that had their water cistern contaminated. The next day, we were at that site putting tanks, water tanks, on site that we had bought at a local plumbing facility. And we went back every day for the next 10 days and filtered their water for them. That's just the kind of thing that happens. You don't know that that's what you're going to do. But within a day, you're already doing the right thing. In Mozambique, we met these people who let us sleep on their floor in the airport because there was no other place to sleep. Uh, after doing that for two days, we became friendly with that organization. They then told us about a community that was, uh, that was trapped because there was so much water, the community was on higher land and it became an island. So aid couldn't get to them and we couldn't get to them to clean their water to provide them with clean water. These guys had two large helicopters and two days later we were on their helicopter with them, camping with them 50 kilometers away with the ability of going and helping them transform their water supply into clean water through our units.